Did you know there are chemicals so toxic a single teaspoon could kill 5 million people? Or that an innocent looking pea seed can be more toxic than ricin? I'm Mike with List25, and today I'm counting down 25 of the most toxic things on Earth. Starting with a tiny octopus whose venom is powerful enough to kill 26 people in minutes and has no known antidote. The blue ringed octopus looks cartoonishly cute. Tiny, colorful, almost too harmless to be dangerous. But if those blue rings start flashing, you're in serious trouble. This little thing carries a venom so powerful, one bite has enough toxin to kill 26 people, and there is no antidote. The worst part? You won't even feel the bite. The venom shuts down your nervous system, leaving you paralyzed and unable to breathe. If you're not on a ventilator fast, there's nothing doctors can do. As terrifying as that is, the blue ringed octopus isn't the only deadly creature waiting for you in the ocean. The stonefish is the most venomous fish in the world, and quite possibly the grumpiest looking one too. These guys blend perfectly into the sea floor, making them almost impossible to spot until it's too late. Step on one, and 13 razor sharp spines will inject venom straight into your foot. The pain is unreal. Victims have compared it to getting hit repeatedly with a sledgehammer, as the venom causes swelling, necrosis, paralysis, and in severe cases, death. Luckily, there is an anti-venom for this one. And fun fact, it's the second most administered in Australia. Some ocean creatures prefer to stay hidden, but others will make you regret even getting in the water. The box jellyfish live in tropical waters near Asia and Australia, but some species have been spotted as far away as California. These things can grow up to 10 feet long, and just one carries enough venom to kill 60 adults. The sting is excruciating, with toxins that attack the heart, nervous system, and skin all at once. Some victims go into cardiac arrest in less than five minutes before they even reach the shore. Vinegar can help prevent more venom from being released, but you still need to find a hospital. Fast. Otherwise, it's a race against time, and the jellyfish usually wins. However, in the world of deadly stings, this next creature takes things up a notch. The Indian Red Scorpion is the most dangerous scorpion in the world, and can be found in crowded areas of India, Pakistan, Nepal, and Sri Lanka. Its sting is brutal, leading to sweating, vomiting, convulsions, and blackouts. If untreated, the venom shuts down the heart and lungs, causing pulmonary edema and death. On top of everything else, it can also cause priapism which is basically one of the most painful ways to go. There is anti-venom, but it barely works, so it's best to avoid these little nightmares altogether. But when it comes to deadly surprises, mollusks might just take the crown. There are cone snails with venom powerful enough to kill 20 adults. And I know you don't want to hear this, but it's very easy for their harpoon-like tooth to go through wetsuits. These little guys live in warm tropical waters, and while a sting from a small one might feel like nothing more than a bee sting, a sting from a big one? Deadly. The venom causes vision loss, paralysis, respiratory failure, and death. And there is no anti-venom. Fortunately, cone snails don't create weapons on purpose. Unlike us. Despite the name, mustard gas is not something you want anywhere near your favorite foods. The yellow-brown chemical smells like mustard or horseradish, but don't let it fool you. It is a weapon designed to make you suffer. Developed by German scientists in World War I, it penetrates through clothing, leaving victims with blistered skin, scorched lungs, and chemical burns. Those who survived attacks were usually left blind, disfigured, or battling cancer for the rest of their lives. But mustard gas isn't the only poison that leaves a lasting mark. Strychnine comes from the dog button plant, and when extracted, it's colorless, bitter, and ridiculously toxic. Back in the 1800s, athletes actually used it like caffeine for a little energy boost, until they found out the hard way that it shuts down the nervous system, locks up the muscles, and makes it impossible to breathe. These days, it's mostly used in rat poison and pesticides, but some drug dealers cut their heroin with it to make the effects, get this, smoother. Now tell me, would you be able to spot a poisonous mushroom? The death cat mushroom looks harmless. Some might even say it looks kind of tasty but it will probably be your last meal. These mushrooms contain amatoxins, which quietly shut down your liver and kidneys. The worst part is, you won't feel sick right away. Symptoms take six to 12 hours, starting with vomiting and diarrhea, followed by a false recovery, and then suddenly, organ failure. There's no true antidote, and without a liver transplant, death is almost guaranteed. So if you're in the mood for mushrooms, well, stick to the grocery store. And while you're at it, don't go snacking on wildflowers either. 
Wolfsbane, also known as monkshood, is a plant so toxic it's been called the queen of poisons. In fact, it's the same stuff our ancestors used to put on their spears and arrow tips, so it definitely kills. Every part of it, from the roots to the petals, is packed with aconitin, a neurotoxin that can have disastrous effects on your body fast. Touch it, and it will be absorbed through your skin. Eat it, just a tiny bit will kill you in a matter of hours. Symptoms hit quickly, tingling, vomiting, a racing heart, before full paralysis and cardiac arrest. Anyway, plants aren't the only things on today's list that will kill you. We've also got poisonous minerals. Arsenic naturally occurs in minerals, but we've also put it to use in pesticides, car batteries, and industrial materials. Unfortunately, it's better known as history's favorite poison, because it's almost impossible to trace and terrifyingly effective. In small amounts, it can cause jaundice, rashes, and nausea. A higher dose, and, well, things get lethal. Violent vomiting, convulsions, coma, and organ failure, sometimes in just a few hours. The most worrying fact about arsenic is that almost 140 million people across 70 countries are at risk of arsenic poisoning from contaminated water today. So for millions of people, arsenic poisoning is their reality. Let's look at another one of the classics. Cyanide works fast. So fast that it's been used by spies in the event they get caught, assassinations, and even warfare. It usually comes in the form of a colorless gas or a white powder, and once it's in your system, your body loses its ability to use oxygen. Breathing becomes impossible. Your head spins. Nausea kicks in. And then, game over. Sometimes in mere minutes. This one has a reputation for a reason. Speaking of poisons with a long and tainted history, Compound 1080 sounds like something from Dexter's Laboratory, but it's actually one of the deadliest poisons we've ever used to kill rodents. It's a white, odorless, tasteless powder that dissolves in water, making it incredibly easy to consume without realizing it. And once it's in your system, there is no way out. It shuts down energy production in the body, causing seizures, irregular heartbeats, and eventually respiratory failure. And if that weren't bad enough, there's no antidote. Even if another animal eats a poisoned one, the toxin stays in their system and can kill them too. Up next, a poison so deadly it can kill billions. And yet, people still inject it into their faces. Botulinum toxin, better known as Botox, is the most toxic substance on Earth. It's produced by Clostridium botulinum, a bacteria that can be found in soil, water, plants, and even the intestines of animals. Yes, intestines, ladies. So how do people use it for beauty treatments without instantly dropping dead? Well, the answer to that is in super tiny doses. But should you happen to be exposed to too much? Blurred vision, nausea, a heart attack, full body paralysis. Strangely enough, it's not the only poison that hides behind beauty. If you've ever watched a wildlife documentary about the Amazon, you'll be familiar with the tiny neon colored poison dart frogs. These minuscule frogs are coated in batrachotoxin, one of the strongest neurotoxins on the planet. Native American hunters have been using it for centuries, rubbing their blow darts on the frog's skin, because a dose as small as two grains of salt can kill almost instantly. The toxin overloads nerve cells, forcing them to fire non-stop until the body completely shuts down. Convulsions hit first, then paralysis, then heart failure. Moving on, who would have thought coral could be poisonous? Polyphyll corals produce palytoxin, one of the most toxic non-protein substances on Earth. It messes with your cells at a molecular level, turning your sodium potassium pumps into open pores, which is a fancy way of saying your body starts to destroy itself from the inside out. And here's the scary part. You don't even have to touch it. Divers, snorkelers, and people working in aquariums can all be exposed to the vapors. And while hospitals can provide supportive care to keep you alive while your body tries to fight off the effects, well, there's no antidote either. Now, let's look at the most lethal natural toxin by weight. You wouldn't think a toxin from plankton could be one of the deadliest substances on Earth, but, well, here we are. Mitotoxin is the most lethal natural toxin by weight, and it doesn't take much to be fatal. Just a few micrograms. It floods your heart with calcium and throws everything out of rhythm. The result? Arrhythmias, cardiac arrest, and total system failure. So far, I've talked about poisons in the ocean, the jungle, and even the odd beauty treatments. But what about one you could accidentally be growing in your own backyard? Ricin comes from castor beans, a plant that looks totally harmless, but just a tiny amount of this poison can shut your body down fast. 
It works by blocking your cells from making proteins, which means your organs slowly start failing one by one. The symptoms start with fever, vomiting, and stomach pain, but things go downhill quickly. Seizures, organ failure, and death within days, which is probably why assassins love it so much. One of the most famous cases was the assassination of Yuri Markov, a Bulgarian dissident who was injected with a ricin-laced pellet using a modified umbrella. He died three days later. Ricin has also turned up in everything from poison-laced letters sent to US presidents to real-life copycats inspired by Breaking Bad. So nature really outdid itself with this one. Now, would you believe me if I told you that ricin has an even deadlier cousin? Abrin is the toxin you can find inside rosary pea seeds, those tiny bright red beads often used in jewelry. They look harmless, but if even one seed is chewed or broken open, you are in serious trouble. Like ricin, Abrin blocks protein production, which means your organs slowly start shutting down. But, and here's the shocker, it's over 30 times more potent than ricin. Symptoms hit hard. Fever, vomiting, massive organ failure, and death within days. Fantastic. Just a fresh new fear was just unlocked. Great. Dimethylmercury is a highly toxic liquid that doesn't sting, burn, or tingle when it touches your skin. It just seeps right through whatever you thought would protect you. Even latex gloves won't stop it. And once it's inside, you won't feel a thing until months later. By the time symptoms start, slurred speech, vision loss, and loss of motor control, it's already too late. One of the most infamous cases of dimethylmercury poisoning happened in 1996 when Karen Wetterhan, a chemistry professor at Dartmouth College, accidentally spilled a few drops on her gloved hand. Five months later, she developed severe neurological symptoms and fell into a coma. Despite treatment, she died within a year. All right, now let's talk about a nerve agent so deadly that even a drop can be fatal. VX was originally developed as a pesticide, but it was so toxic that using it in agriculture was out of the question. Instead, it became one of the deadliest chemical weapons ever used. It hijacks the nervous system, causing uncontrollable muscle contractions, convulsions, and suffocation. And just like ricin, it's been used in a high-profile assassination. In 2017, Kim Jong-nam, the half-brother of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, was murdered with VX in the middle of an airport. Two women approached him, wiped a tiny amount of VX on his face, and walked away. Within 20 minutes, he collapsed. By the time doctors realized what had happened, there was nothing they could do. But there's another nerve agent that works even faster, and just breathing it can be fatal. VX and sarin are both nerve agents, but while VX sticks around as an oily residue, sarin vanishes into thin air. And that's exactly why it's so dangerous. Sarin is a gas, meaning just one breath can be enough to kill you. It shuts down your body's ability to control nerve signals, causing convulsions, muscle paralysis, and suffocation within minutes. Remember the Tokyo subway attack in 1995? 13 people died, over 1,000 were injured, and the world realized just how terrifying this nerve gas can be. But leave it to the Cold War to introduce something even deadlier. Novichok isn't just a single chemical. It's an entire family of nerve agents made in secret Soviet labs, each one formulated to be deadlier than VX. Some versions are five to eight times stronger. And in case that wasn't enough to scare you, you should know that even a microscopic dose can trigger pinpoint pupils, seizures, and a total nervous system meltdown. That danger was demonstrated in 2018 when Sergei and Yulia Skripal were poisoned, and in 2020 when Alexei Navalny was poisoned. They survived, but only after intense medical intervention. Okay, let's, let's take a break from invisible killers and look at an Australian one. We all know Australia is home to plenty of deadly critters, but the inland taipan might just be the undisputed champ. One milligram of its venom can kill a grown adult, and it can deliver up to 100 milligrams in a single bite. Get the picture? Each strike is loaded with neurotoxins, hemotoxins, and myotoxins, a triple whammy that can lead to paralysis, a massive internal bleeding, and respiratory failure, sometimes within minutes. The good news is that this snake is shy and sticks to remote areas. Otherwise, there'd be a whole lot more horror stories coming out of the outback. All right, I think I've covered enough animals. Ready to move from venom to radiation? Trust me, it only gets scarier. Polonium-210 is a rare radioactive metal that's so potent that billionths of a gram can be lethal. Once inside the body, it bombards your organs with alpha radiation, causing acute radiation syndrome and multi-organ failure. 
One of the most notorious cases of polonium poisoning happened in 2006 when the ex-Russian spy Alexander Litvienko was poisoned in London. He died after weeks of agonizing decline, and there was nothing doctors could do. In short, polonium is radioactivity at its worst, and there's almost no surviving it, should you even want to. And at number one on today's list, let's talk about carfentanil. An opioid so strong it's used to tranquilize elephants, and yet it's still finding ways onto the streets. This stuff is about 100 times more potent than fentanyl and 10,000 times stronger than morphine. I'm talking 20 micrograms, just a few grains of salt, being enough to kill an adult who has no opioid tolerance. It depresses your central nervous system so fast that respiratory arrest can happen before you even know something's wrong. And yes, carfentanil has been weaponized, notably in the 2002 Moscow theater siege, which left over 100 hostages dead. It's also fueling fatal overdoses in the opioid crisis. So while there is an antidote, Naxalone, the sheer potency of carfentanil is such that it often demands multiple doses and an immediate response to even stand a chance. All of that makes carfentanil one of the most unforgiving substances on earth. A single speck can end a life in minutes. And that's it for today. So which one gave you the biggest chills? Or did I miss a nightmarish toxin you'd like us to cover? Spill the tea in the comments because I am all ears. And if you need a palate cleanser after that, well, check out our related video, 25 facts that'll make you appreciate modern medicine. Trust me, after all of these deadly substances, you'll see why modern medicine is nothing short of miraculous. Go ahead and subscribe, you know you want to, and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.